Tamar Braxton speaks out after hospitalization. It's been nearly two weeks since Tamar was first hospitalized after being found unresponsive in an LA hotel room, and she's ready to share her story. The Braxton Family Value Star has issued a public statement explaining how 11 years of working in reality television has negatively impacted her mental health and how she plans to be an advocate for people who share her experience going forward. In the open letter, the mother of one thanks her fans and loved ones for their support while acknowledging her own mental illness. Despite over a decade of authenticity and honesty in front of cameras, Tamar writes that she was betrayed, taken advantage of, overworked, and underpaid adding that her portrayal on TV does not match up to the woman she knows herself to be. The former host of The Real also claims WeTV ignored her initial cry for help two months ago, which only further killed her spirit. A source close to the family told E! News Tamar had been staying at the Ritz-Carlton residences in LA with her boyfriend David when he found her unconscious and called 911. The 43-year-old reality TV star has since been moved to a mental health facility to focus on her depression and other mental health issues. Tamar's statement comes a day after sister Tony Braxton broke her silence surrounding the incident with an uplifting family photo featuring Tracy, Evelyn, Tawanda, Tamar, and Trina alongside the caption, family is everything, especially sisters. Trina echoed her sentiments, commenting six heart emojis, one for each sister and mom Evelyn. Tamar ends her statement promising to fight for her seven-year-old son Logan and to help end the exploitation of black people in the entertainment industry, urging reality TV personalities to form a union. My love for my support system and everyone who choose to love me when I no longer loved myself is infinite and I am forever grateful. I pray you will stand with me and be courageous enough to share your own truth. E! News reached out to WeTV for comment but have not heard back.